my mom gave me the sugar cane. There's the girl that I like. Over there laughing with that smart. Hey, you're holding up the goddamn lunch line. Hello there, children. Hey, Chef. How's it going? Bad. Why bad? We got busted for swearing. Our mom said we can't ever see the Terrence and Phillip movie again. Oh, that's too bad. You should have seen Kyle when his mom showed up. He was scared out of his mind. <laughs> Shut up, Cartman. No, dude, I'd be scared too. Your mom's a fucking bitch. Don't call my mom a bitch, you fat fuck. Don't call me fat, you butt fucking son of a bitch. Whoa, children. Why did you learn to talk like that? It's pretty fucking sweet, huh? Chef, how do you make a woman like you more than any other guy? Oh, that's easy. You just gotta find the clitoris. Huh? Oops. What does that mean, find the clitoris? Uh, forget I said anything. Move along, children. You're holding up the line. You guys, do you know where I can find the clitoris? The what? What, is that like finding Jesus or something? Uh, attention, students. We are now enforcing a new dress code at South Park Elementary. Terrence and Phillips shirts are no longer allowed in school. Anyone wearing a Terrence and Phillips shirt is to be sent home immediately. Canadian film Asses of Fire is number one at the box office, but is the film destroying American youth? Here with a special report is a midget in a bikini. Thanks, Tom. It appears that the effects of the Canadian comedy are far-reaching indeed. All over America, children seem to be influenced, like at the spelling bee in Washington. All right, this is for the silver medal, Spell Forensics. Well, oh, fuck that. Why should I fucking have to spell forensics? Yeah! Woo! Here you go. S-U-C-K-M-Y-A-S-S. -S -S. Forensics. Tom, the devastating impact of the Canadian duo can also be seen with their new hit song, Shut Your Fucking Face, Uncle Fucker. Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. You're a funny, fighting bastard, Uncle Fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I told you that we won't stop. I, I told you that we won't stop. Back to you, Tom. Thanks, Midget. Shocking report. The controversy began in the small mountain town of South Park, where the local PTA is trying to ban the movie. With us tonight is the head of the PTA, Sheila Broflowski. Hello, Tom. And the Canadian Minister of Movies. Thanks for having me, buddy. Minister, parents are concerned about your country's entertainment. Your thoughts? Well, the film is R-rated and it's not intended for children. Oh, but of course children are gonna see it. Can I finish? The fact is that we Canadians are quite surprised by you your outrage. You just don't care. Can I finish? Hello, can I, can I finish? The United States has graphic violence on television all the time. We can't believe that a movie with some foul language would piss you off so much. Because it's evil! Can I finish? Please, can I finish? Okay, I'm finished. But, Mr. Minister, it isn't like this film is the first troublesome thing to come out of Canada. Let us not forget Brian Adams. No, no, the Canadian government has apologized for Brian Adams on several occasions. You Canadians are all the same with your beady little eyes and flapping heads. You, you I resent that. I find that racist. And Our children are now addicted you to your You are racist, ma'am. You are racist. It is going to take us weeks to erase the damage this film has done to our children. Uh, kids, I want to welcome you to rehabilitation, okay? Your mother's insisted that you be taken from your normal schoolwork and placed into rehab to learn not to swear. I must say, I don't think I belong with these rogues. I attended school at Yardale and had a 4-0 grade point average. <laughs> You're a fucking faggot, dude. Okay, you see, children, this is exactly what I'm talking about. We have to get you off of foul language. How are we gonna do that? Well, listen here. There are times when you get suckered in by drugs and alcohol and sex with women, okay? But it's when you do these things too much that you've become an addict and must get back in touch. You can do it. It's all up to you, okay? With a little plan, you can change your life today. You don't have to spend your life addicted to smack. Homeless on the streets giving handjobs for crack. Follow my plan and very soon you will say it's easy, okay? Step one, instead of ass, say buns, like kiss my buns or you're a buns hole. Step two, instead of shit, say poo, as in bull, poo, poo, head in this poo is cold. Step three, with bitch, drop the tea, cause big is Latin for generosity. Step four, don't say fuck anymore, cause fuck is the worst word that you can say. So just use the word okay. Okay. Drop the D-Cut. 
Okay. 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 Now you're cured. You can take the rest of the afternoon off for personal reflection, okay? Find your own constructive way to better yourself, okay?